Hey everybody, today I am going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately. If you were to use Substance Painter and you are doing a part of your project that is Unity based, I want to show you a little way to export your textures for Unity uh, if you choose options two or three. So here's a quick way to do it. Uh, there is a quicker way than what I'm going to show you. Uh, one of the ways that I've heard from students that they're accomplishing this are they're actually going into Sketchfab if you've uploaded your textures and your model directly from Substance and they're actually downloading their model from Sketchfab and it comes with all the appropriate textures. But if you don't have that, here's an easy way around it. Um, on this model, I currently have a color map, a normal map, and a metallic map that I've placed into the scene. And I'm going to go ahead and right click and do export textures. And if you're going ahead and doing this, you want to make sure of a few things. You want to make sure that all of your materials are present. Uh, if you had baked an occlusion and so forth, that that would be present as well. And what you want to go to is you're going to want to go to the configuration tab. In the configuration tab, you're going to want to navigate to your shaders. And there's going to be two types of shaders and they're a bit hard to see in here. So let's see if I can get this to open up for you guys on the screen. It's probably as good as my screen's gonna get it. You have metallic and you have specular. Now, by default, you may not have um, a AO option or ambient occlusion option in your shader. So let me show you how to build that. Uh, but by default, you can see I have a color slash transparency shader, which is important. I have a metal slash smoothness shader, which is important because that's like your, your uh, specular map. I have my normal map, and then I have something called an emission map here. Now, I want to add an ambient occlusion. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a gray channel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the word gray. I'm going to then drag the word ambient occlusion to the gray box. I'm going to let go and add it to my gray channel. Now, rule of thumb that I've used is I simply copy and paste, command C, command V, the word emission, and then I'll type AO. And now I have a preset that will export all of these specific files. So when I go back to export and I ask for, it asks me for the configuration, I click on that. Typically you would go to Sketchfab. I'm gonna scroll down using the slider and I'm gonna go to the Unity 5 standard metallic. And by doing that, when I export, it go ahead, it, it goes ahead and opens the specific shaders for my model. So now we'll have the three shaders that we were using on that model and they're ready to go and you can go ahead and enter them into your file. So that's just a really quick lesson for those of you wondering how to export. Um, again, you can go to Sketchfab and download your models with all the texture files already on. But hopefully that helped and um, look forward to seeing your guys' models.